All right, another quarterback news. We know the intention. Now it's about compensation between these teams. The Packers and the Jets still working on this trade here. At least we know where Aaron stands. At this point, as I sit here, you know, I think since Friday, uh, I made it clear that my intention was to play, and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Okay. Um, mm. And I haven't been holding anything up at this point. It's been compensation that the Packers are trying to get. Always going to have love for that organization. But the facts are right now, they want to move on. Oh, my God, it's right there. That's it. And now, mm -hmm. and now so do I. All right, if, if this is giving you deja vu, no, you're, you're not losing it. The Jets went through this when they traded for Brett Favre. They got the QB and a future seventh-round pick while the Packers received a third-rounder for Favre. So once, if and when, this is all said and done and they lock up Aaron Rodgers, here's my question. If he gets to a playoff game, gets a playoff dub, is that enough to justify the trade, David? Because to me, it's got to be Lombardi or bust. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I, I think I think we have to take into context where they are. Mm -hmm. They're in the AFC East. Mm -hmm. That's a tough division. The yep. AFC in general is a very difficult division. I think that the Jets fans and the team in general would say, if we get to the playoffs with this group, then I think it was worth it. You know, and I, and I really think that obviously Aaron wants to go to the Jets, win a Super Bowl. Right. Everyone wants to win a Super Bowl, right? We heard Jimmy say that in the press conference mm -hmm. today with the Raiders. Every quarterback that goes to a new team, Derek wants to win a Super Bowl in, with New Orleans. I mean, I get it, right? But it's. The task is a difficult one. It's not easy. You know, you can try and bring in some of your guys. You're going into a new market. You're going into a new arena, a new environment. They have a good defense. I'll say that. Like, this is a good defense. This is a defense that I watched with Robert Sala leading it. They were right there with all the, the turmoil that they had at the quarterback position, all the different guys bouncing in and out. So you plug in a guy that's got over 100 quarterback ratings, going to throw a lot more touchdowns than he does interceptions. He might have some issues in the offseason. He might not be the, the guy that you want as far as the figurehead of your team leading some of these young guys forward, and that's an issue, yeah. right? But I, I absolutely think that if they go to the playoffs, then I think that they can count that as a win and then see what happens next year. I, I do too. And look, right now we're going to compare him with Brett Favre. You know, same team being traded to the same yeah, organization. Right. But then once you get going, he's going to be compared to Peyton Manning going to Denver and winning a Super Bowl, yeah, Tom right. Brady going to right. Tampa Bay and winning a Super Bowl. Yeah, that's right. I'm with you, though. I think this year, the first year, going to the playoffs because that Broncos team and that Buccaneers team had a lot more established veterans they than did. this Jets team. This Jets team's got a nice young nucleus that's got to grow. And I think Aaron is going to be incredibly motivated. Mm -hmm. He's going into a new city where he's not the institution like he was in Green Bay. So the expectations are going to be there, but I think he's going to be so motivated. He'll be there for those offseason workouts. He's going to get those guys ready to play. And again, getting through the AFC is a gauntlet, yeah. but getting to the playoffs, a place where the Jets haven't been since 2010, I think will be enough as long as the younger players evolve with him. Yeah. If it's just the Aaron show, then it's going to disappear when he goes away. But if they evolve with him, so when he finally does walk away, they've got a nice landing pad for the next quarterback, I think everything will be worth it. Yeah, I just think this is a man that we all agree will one day be wearing a gold jacket. So to me, a playoff <laughs> yeah. Yeah. win should be the minimum. Yeah. When you start well, out. For sure. If you ask him, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> no question.